Hey guys, welcome back to our day. I just ended yesterday's video. Anyway, you'll, if you haven't watched that, go watch it and you'll understand. But I'm gonna quickly get myself with some makeup on. Normally I wouldn't care to go to the grocery store with makeup on, but I have more curriculum nights to take care of tonight and again tomorrow night, so I might as well, you know, fix this face and put some makeup on and life as a mom. That's what I wanted to talk about this morning. <laughs> Let me get my makeup on and then I'll come back and talk to you about that. This is done, mild. But here's the thing, last night and this morning as I was kind of getting the kids ready for bed, <laughs> like I kept walking around the house and my instinct is to always like grab all the little trinkets and all the things that are out of place. But I thought I would just show you some of the funny things that I found around the house and this is just a sign that you're a mom. Like when you notice these things, like you, it's a, it's the definition of having kids. It's ridiculous. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a few things that I found around the house today and then we are going to run to the grocery store, which is another one thing that I need to go to the store and I've gone to the store every single day this week um, and I just need to get a better job and a better handle on our groceries and our stockpile of stuff. But um, I need cereal. I <laughs> think it's ridiculous the amount of cereal that we buy. And maybe I shouldn't buy any more right now. Maybe I should just kind of force kids to eat some oatmeal and make eggs or something in the morning. But they also just need to have something quick and easy and make themselves. So it's just the life of a mom. So watch these few little clips of the things that I found around the house that are just kind of funny and just typical of having kids, basically. And then um, we'll go see how many boxes of cereal I, have, I get. I'm really hoping that the store has a sale on cereal. Usually if they if they do have a sale, I end up getting sometimes 20 or 30 boxes of cereal, depending on the price, um, just to call it and stock up on it. So I might do the same at Costco if I don't find a good deal at the regular grocery store, but I don't have time to go to Costco. So I've only got an hour before the kids are home from school. So let's hurry and go. show you what I like that I have a whole cartload and then I'll explain more in the car all right you guys I'm gonna quickly explain what just happened okay so I went in just to get the cereal right and then as I was getting the digital coupons for the cereal that was on sale and all that kind of jazz well first of all I'll tell you I got 13 boxes of cereal which is actually a small amount when I'm stocking up but there wasn't anything else on sale for like a good price anyway so I got the cereal and then I saw the grapes were on sale for 99 cents a pound and that is my stock up price we freeze them and the kids love them for after school snacks and Jason likes them for when he is snacky and trying to be good and has them late at night instead of ice cream which you know he has a problem with ice cream hang on one second all right had to do a roundabout <laughs> shouldn't do that with a camera on and I'm coming up on a red light so I think we're good and I think I have a few minutes to spare to go get a cold drink because after all that I need a cold drink because <laughs> the kids get home from school early today and I have some computer work to do anyway so I added grapes I, I think I bought eight pounds of grapes and so then I was you know going to check out and I saw a coupon for free cheese dip and if you bought two bags of chips and so I thought okay well that's kind of good to get some free 
dip. I like that for like game days to watch the Seahawks and stuff. Anyway, so then when I was looking at my digital coupons on my app for the grocery store, I noticed that if I spend, I had a coupon on there, if I spent $50, I would get $5 off. And so I thought, oh, I'm pretty close to five or $50. Um, I should double check my exact total to see if I'm close to that, right? So then I literally am adding everything up to the penny to make sure I can get to that $50 mark and save the extra $5, because every penny counts. That's my deal, every penny counts. Added everything up, and I think that's why I ultimately ended up getting the chips, because it put me over the $50 mark, so technically the chips were free too, because they were only two for $6. And I had everything added up all correctly, and I got to the register and I felt like, hang on one second. I felt like my total wasn't accurate. And so I asked the cashier to just, you know, double to make sure that my $5 came off and the grapes were the right price and the cereal was all the right price. Hang on, let me order. Yes, can I just get a large Coke, please? Large Coke, anything else? That's it, thank you. Thank you. All right, so my total, was supposed to only come to like $40, $45 because that $5 would take down from 50 and, and whatnot. And so when my total came to 64, I was like, that is not right. But then I thought maybe I overestimated on the, the amount of grapes I had per bag because I had four bags of them. And usually the bags are two pounds each. And so I thought, oh, maybe I just, kind of overestimated on the grapes. I'll kind of chalk it up to that. And then when I got to my car and I loaded everything into the car, I went to grab the receipt to kind of tell you the amount of savings that I was able to do. And now we'll have to refigure it out. But it, my original total was 112 and I brought it down to that $64. And so I was initially gonna just hop on the camera and tell you, guess what, I saved half, you know, 50%. And I just thought I need to look at the receipt and double check that I, you know, had everything correct. And one of the sets of cereal, I think it was the Frosted Flakes, they were supposed to be $1.99 each if I bought four of them with no limit. And so I bought eight of them, but they charged me the full price of $4.49 per box instead of the sale price of $1.99. Now, some people I know don't like confrontation and and the stress and the embarrassment of having to go back in and get their money back and you have to wait for them and <laughs> prove it, you have to go. Anyway, I'm not that person. I'd have no problem going in there and asking them to honor their price. I went back to the aisle, I took a picture of it. I probably actually have it here on camera too. I went and took a picture of it, went up to the counter and showed it to her and I saved the extra $20. <laughs> Because they, I mean, they had a sign up that says that it was that price. And so I only spent $45, actually $44. So that's a tip for you. Don't hesitate to make the stores honor the prices that they display. Yes, there are mistakes that are made and sometimes you grab the right, the wrong size or, you know, there's a limit to them, but don't hesitate to hold the stores accountable for the prices that they mark and maybe the sale ended I've actually had that before where the sale ended, but they didn't take down the sale sign. And they've had to honor it because they forgot to take the sale sign down. So, I'm gonna get my cold drink really quick. and <laughs> We'll keep chatting. I gotta hurry and get home to the bus. Thank you. You're saying, is there something new about you? Yes. Um. Look at my hand. I know, I was gonna say you lost a bow, but then what? You just went to one side. <laughs> no, because I, the you know that. Oh wait, it, you're you have a bandaid on. Because um, you know that your beds, at ends it it hurt him, and then. Oh, my did ear, it cut your ear? It yeah, just like I don't know if it might have. Cause it chirps. Well, I'm sorry, Boo. Let's I'm go home. And get, Chelsea, oh okay. <laughs> Let's go get a snack. All right, you guys. I have been working 
on, I edited one video and I'm getting that one going. I think my internet's like really slow right now. I'm not really sure what is going on with it. And then I'm having to do some other computer work for church and just a few other things. Now I think I'm trying to figure out how to share my daughter's Google Drive with her biology and her photography teacher. <laughs> anyway, but it's like loading right now. So I have a second to like work things here in the kitchen. Ashley is behind me. Ashley, you want to say hi? Hi. She is getting some screen time. They've been home for like two hours. Um, but Chelsea keeps going in and out, going to play. Hang on. That's annoying. The bag doesn't quite... Then I'm betting this won't go on very well. Anyway. So yeah, I've been working on the computer. I have a whole bunch more to do. And some stuff cereal in it. Um, I've got curriculum night tonight for elementary school. So Chelsea and Ashley. Ashley's trying to convince me to let her go with me, and that's not going to happen because it's not for fun. So, I just talked to my sister, though. She's trying to call me back, but I think my other sister's kids got dropped off to get watched, and so I think she's just kind of busy. But she just went through this whole, like, at first she had asked me to do, like, signs at her wedding, this is the sister that's getting married. So she asked me to do these signs, um, kind of directing traffic to where the reception is gonna be, because it was kind of, you have to go upstairs and then out an elevator, but not in that door, in another door around the corner. And so at first she just wanted me to like, make all these sign, directional signs, and chalkboard style with wood frame and that kind of thing. Oh, the older kids just got home. And then the more she started talking to me, she started sending me texts of pictures and welcome signs and you know like what her name her husband her and her husband's well soon to be husband's name and the date that they're getting married and it turned into this hour-long conversation of eight different boards that I'm gonna make and then one that she's got there already that she's got to have my dad make for her because she's already got a big probably four foot piece of white bead board that um, she already had and so my dad's gonna like frame that out. Hi Abby. Anyway, it just, it um, it's fine because I wanna like, I always wanted to like do this for my sister's wedding so it's super fun. Right there. Dude, all these <laughs> that was just some, uh, permission slips. So you had this one missing? What? You had this one missing or is it just new today? Well, I mean it's due tomorrow. Oh, okay. One of the kids had one missing and I was like, I know I have signed every single permission slip. Uh, you have to write that. I'm excited to get to know you and your student in a thousand words or less. Oh you my don't gosh. actually have to do it. You should have to fill up some last You guys, words. all that paperwork for your school you is- You can't put a thousand words on there. You just... I can't. Put it on my it's desk. It's just a joke. It's a joke? Yeah. It's- I don't have- It's just the teacher. Oh, it actually says one million words or less, not a thousand. Yeah. All right, put it on my desk. Oh, wait, I have one. Anyway, so, um, it's going to be really fun because I'm driving, I can, and I'm, we're only staying for like two or three nights. I'm hoping to have one suitcase for the kids' clothes and my clothes. And then, and Kaylee will come separate, but I'll bring her close with me. Just so much. Another one? <laughs> Goodness sakes. Um, but I can put all these signs in my car, which will be nice. I can make them all here and then take them with us. So I want to be able to help and contribute. My other sister is going to help with the flowers. Oh, no. Well, she's helping with the boutonnieres and like corsages and stuff. Because um, she has an event planner 
that's going to get all the flowers provided for us, but, or for her, I should say. Anyway, it just kind of, hang on, okay. It just reaffirmed to me that I'm super glad that I canceled one of my activities at church and I've kind of opened up my schedule a little bit more. And the plus side is that it gives me content for you guys. You're gonna come along this journey of me making all these signs. It's gonna involve wood cutting and framing and chalk paint and, well, chalk pens. And then she wants, it's like the whole rustic theme, right? It's like right up my alley. And then um, vinyl. And vinyl still scares me. I have a silhouette cameo and I've done it in the past. I just kept, I kept screwing it up the last time I did it and I just kind of got scared with it. So I gotta pull that sucker back out and try and figure that out. Babbling again. So I'm gonna go check in with my older kids. Is Kaylee coming back? She's walking with other ones. Okay. I gotta keep on schedule tonight. So don't leave until you talk to me if you are leaving, Abby. Um, okay, got cereal put away. Um, they are not having cereal tonight. I will make them dinner, so I gotta go figure that out. All right, so I got dinner made. Let me show you the chicken noodle soup. We have chicken noodle soup and some toast. I'm gonna put this toaster away really quick. Sorry, I turned you off. <laughs> um, I have to leave here soon. Parking is kind of a nightmare at any one of these schools that I have to go to with added traffic and all that kind of stuff. Let me show you the, so anyway, I have to leave soon. So I'm kind of in a rush. Um, let me show you the chicken noodle soup that we just made. Find your towel. All right, so here's the soup. I actually think I need to add another little bit of broth. I'll let Jason have some tonight and then after I put it in the fridge and have it for leftovers tomorrow, I might have to add another bag of broth that I have in the freezer. So these are, this is how I store it, in case I have never shown you. There's all our frozen grapes. So here's the bags of it that I do. They're just um, gallon sized bags and I freeze them laying flat so that they can just, I can pull it out and put it in the microwave. So this one is actually not as dark as the one I just did, which means I didn't let it go for a full 36 hours. I just did this one for 24 hours. And only Abby knows about this so far, so gotta keep that a secret. All right, I'm gonna head to this meeting here. I'm gonna get ready to go. Jason is, what is he doing tonight? Oh, he has another interview for someone to hire. And then he gets to stay home in the morning, I think, because he has a meeting for with his other partners. I had to come in here where it's quiet. Um, and then I think he gets to do that as a conference call. But if not, he just doesn't have to go in super early to work. But Kaylee is gonna go tonight. I think you've probably seen the dog at our bus stop, but she's literally going to babysit a dog tonight. <laughs> the mom, um, she has two little girls that are like in Chelsea and Ashley's grades, but um, She's like at their soccer game right now and doesn't have time to come clear home to drop kids off to have Kaylee babysit before she goes to the school for curriculum night. And so, <laughs> but they can't leave the dog for that long. And so Kaylee is gonna go babysit the dog while she takes the girls to the school and does curriculum night. They'll just go to the library. But uh, I just think it's funny that she's going to babysit a dog. <laughs> it's like right up her alley though. If she could just have a job full time of like taking care of dogs, she probably would. In fact, I could see her doing like dog walker and whatnot in the future. So, especially in our neighborhood, cause it's like a thing in our neighborhood to have a dog walker. So I'm gonna head to this meeting. We will catch up with Jason later tonight when he gets home. I may go for a milkshake on my way home. Even though we have that ice cream, I have a free milkshake on my app for McDonald's. <laughs> Got to redeem it or else it'll expire. Oh, gosh. One more curriculum night after tonight. And that is for middle school, which is, we've already done that before. That one's easy. And so I'm, I'm going to be glad when this week is over. It's just kind of a lot. So take a deep breath. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. It's been a long time. 
since we last chatted. Abby, you want to say goodnight? What? No, she doesn't. <laughs> She's, it is 9.40, so it's technically her bedtime. She's been working on this really cute. Can I show them, or did you already put it away? Take it back out. You don't want to? It's really cute. It's cute, but it's personal. Okay. She did this really cute assignment for science explaining the rules of the science lab and she drew this little cartoon of yeah it was an assignment it was really cute though jason do you want to say hi <laughs> <laughs> he's almost done with his yeah, ice cream I will, I will dish he, your ice cream up thank you uh, he, he's almost done with his bucket of ice cream that i bought yesterday do we need to show him it, oh no yeah the lid came off oh that's because i put it in the no wrong. there's only it's, you can see like, the bottom. It's just like frozen water. It's no, not frozen it's, water. It's not good. I shouldn't do it. Last here, one. I wouldn't want you to overeat, so I'll just give you a small amount. <laughs> see, but he does this much no, I'm doing three that. times. Well, if I'm eating so badly, you can't eat at my rate. <laughs> <laughs> give me some more. No, hun, I don't want you to overeat. They need it too much. <laughs> I mean, come on. Some more I don't ice cream. to get a video of how much you're eating. I, no, because I share the other container with everyone else in the family. <laughs> this ice cream to take <laughs> is not over. He, he gets his ice cream all to himself. Well, you should get a flavor that the kids don't like. <laughs> <laughs> don't like any flavor that they don't like. Anyway. <laughs> and on the... The ice cream debate, as usual, we tend to do this. Why don't often. you guys comment, comment on how you guys That's the, work out? No, for, oh, do well, the other way. Why don't you guys comment <laughs> on how you guys fight over food or work out food stuff or shame each other about how they're eating? <laughs> <laughs> don't shame you. I'm just commenting that your ice cream is almost gone. That container's almost gone because four people have eaten it. Yeah. No, that's the no, difference. I'm okay, not, we're gonna end it. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not doing this anymore. You. I'm just saying, gosh, you're a gluttonous fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired, you guys. I did curriculum night for elementary school tonight, and it's like all like whatever. I'm just showing up to show the teacher that I care, <laughs> but I don't really need to. I actually made lists of everything I need to do in real life <laughs> while the first teacher was talking. And then I skipped out on music because we all know that fourth graders play a recorder and it drives us all insane. I don't need to go and hear someone else tell me that. Okay, that's it. And then I had a friend come over and visit with me and we listened to the, you ever heard that radio call where the lady Yeah, words about the deer. calls in thinking that deer need new deer crossing signs because they're not crossing in spots that are appropriate. <laughs> really funny. Google deer crossing radio call. And you'll thank me later. No, seriously. Deer Crossing Radio Call. Google it. YouTube it. And you will be like dying laughing. You just had a shadow over your face. I know, but I didn't know how to like. Right, okay. Good night, guys. I'm tired. Thanks for watching. Bye.